The area of research is looking at social interactions and the information people use to judge the intentions and the moods and the actions of other people. George Mather, Professor of Vision Science at the University of Lincoln. I have a long history of research in motion perception, mostly looking at relatively simple aspects of motion perception, very simple stimuli which don't have any real world reference. But we obviously exist in the real world and we make judgments about much more complicated stimuli, particularly about people and uh, why people are behaving in particular ways. So there's a great deal of scope for applying basic knowledge about vision to social situations and that might reveal new uh, aspects of how we handle visual information. So I'm interested in applying basic vision science into social situations. The old saying, actions speak louder than words, is very true in the case of visual perception. Actions tell us a lot about what people's intentions are, what their moods are. How quickly someone walks tells us whether they're anxious, uh, whether they may be aggressive. So we need to be able to judge uh, action very accurately in order to be able to make judgments about the social intention and uh, mood. Some of the experiments will be looking at how we judge the pace of human actions, how quickly people do things. So we'll be taking film of people walking, uh, performing other actions, manipulating them to alter the speed of those actions and getting participants in our experiments to make judgments about how fast or slowly people are doing things. The primary impact of the research is probably going to be in the scientific area in terms of informing social science and vision science about the information people use when they're making judgments during social interactions. It will give us new knowledge about the link between the visual part of the brain and the social part of the brain, how those two sources of, uh, of processing link together. The outcomes will be a combination of research publications, conference presentations, but also a lot of material that we will make available to fellow researchers in the form of details of the techniques which we use, the programs which we've written to do the research, the videos which we make and show to the participants, they'll all be made available to fellow researchers so they can use them in their work too.